Today we're talking about strategies for motivating athletes. I get a lot of messages from coaches who are out of frustration or asking, how in the world can I get kids to do what I want them to do? I'm not sure that I can personally but I can motivate kids by training their character so that they desire to be better people. And in being better people, it makes them better athletes because they desire to be much better athletes. So today I wanna to talk about some strategies that I have for developing and motivating our athletes. I'm talking about basically a sports psychology program. The first step is to decide on a plan of action. Make your outline, find what it is you want to get to those children, to those athletes. Secondly, I want you to develop it. So go online, go to the library, do whatever it takes to find the resources that you can develop this material. Lastly, I want you to deliver the content to the athletes. And this sometimes is hard and you have to find different methods to do it. I like to use Facebook or one of the social medias. I'm going to share with you today one that I designed a couple of years ago. We took bracelets, little elastic bands, and I put little beads on them. And the beads had the following letters on them. I'm going to share with you what it was all about. And it was very, very special for my athletes and for me. I grow every time I develop one of these plans. The first letter is a P, and that stands for purpose. We all need to know why we're doing what we're doing why we're even here. What is your mission statement for life? These athletes have not even thought about that. So it's something very important for them to think about. The second letter is the letter C. This stands for character. I spent two or three weeks talking about different character qualities that my athletes needed to have. We talked about how it related to their life in general and how it related to their life as a team member. The next one is the letter A. We talked about the different attitudes that some we wanted to let go of and some we wanted to keep. The attitude of being positive, of using positive self-talk. We talked about attitudes you want to get rid of, like letting go of anger because that keeps you stressed all of your life. The next letter was C. In this, we talked about the five communication principles so that they could learn how to talk to people, to really look them in the eye and listen to them and know what the person is trying to say to them, rather than standing there and thinking about what the next thing they were going to say is. The next one is L. You guys, we need to continue learning. I love to learn. It's one of my favorite things. And as athletes, they need to know that, as Einstein said, the day you stop learning, you start dying. The last letter he talked about was the letter M. That stands for mentor. After you've done all the above letters, the last one is that now you have become a role model. Now you are the person that people are looking up to. And I always ask the question, if a three-year-old came up to you and said, I want to be just like you, would that be a good thing? I urge you to try some of these strategies to design your own program. Most of all, guys, love what you do and be the light and role model that you yield to see in your athletes.